Hello everyone and welcome back to Starbound. Today I have some stuff I need to do. Uh, first and foremost, I don't have them on me. There we go. Corn seeds. Okay, first and foremost, I have realized we can make batteries. We can make silicon boards. We can make copper wire. <laughs> We can make all these things, so uh, so we will. However, I need poison, and I need sand, and I need copper. But mostly poison and sand are the things that I do not have. So, boosh, and we will we will definitely go to the colony today. But first, I have us pat. Uh, I put a flag on the colony planet. Uh, I also have us parked above a toxic world, which we are going to beam down to right now to start collecting some poison. As you do. Oh, lovely. There's already some here. Oh, cool. Poison rain. 315 seems like a cool number. <laughs> okay, that's all we needed. Ow. Now let's go home. Uh, ow. Actually, no, hold on, we also need sand, right. So we need to now park our ship on top of a desert world, which we will do. Uh, I do want those seats there, actually. So, desert world. Uh, we do have one around our home planet. Uh, we do have a few, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Let's go to... Let's see. Let's go to this one, the one all by itself. And we'll do a little bit of exploring, too. Not too much, because I do want to get back to... Back to working on the colony. I've done a little bit of work off camera. I've started a little bit of a farm plot, um, which is why I grabbed the corn seeds so I can pretty it up with some corn. Uh, I got some animals from Terra Mart. That was pretty cool. I've never done it before. Uh, well, I've never played this before, but um, I'd never seen it done before either. For some reason, I've never seen anyone getting to raising, getting into raising animals in this game. I assume that's because there's not much depth to it, because it doesn't appear that there is. But at the same time, it's like, well, it's definitely a facet of the game, and they do produce stuff for you, so I don't see why not. And yet nobody touches on it. At least not that I've ever seen. And I can't say that I've watched, like, Dozens upon dozens of Starbound Let's Plays, mostly just like three or four from the same people over and over. Um, I also need sand for glass, so I just need a sandy planet to strip mine. <laughs> so that's basically what we're here for. And it looks like we can get some resources at the same time. A little bit of tungsten. Don't really need that stuff, but I may as well just be consistent with my mining. I have 150 sand. That's actually a pretty decent number. So let's go back to the ship. Let's pop ourselves down at home. Oh, come on. And then back here we go. So, what we need for the silicon boards is sand and coal, which I have. So the atomic furnace we don't need to upgrade. This guy, we, do, we need five boards for you. We need three boards for you, so that's eight. And we need ten for you, so that's eighteen. 18 and we currently have how many 
12. So 16. 16 silicon boards. There we go. Let's go ahead and just stack these together. And then I also need copper wire. I have a ton. I made some off camera so that we'd be able to, we'd be good to go today. Uh, and then I need to make some batteries, right? So for that, I need some gold wire or some gold, not some gold wire. And I need to make three of these, right? So one, two, three, four, so six gold. So now, oh, and I need dirt steel, of course. So now, I can upgrade this into the architect's table, and we can now do a whole bunch of cool stuff. Uh, I can upgrade you into the agricultural table, and now we can start making some sprinklers, which is nice. And lastly, but not least, I need one more copper wire. Really? Really? I miscounted by one? By one? Okay, whatever. Uh, copper wire. I just need one copper bar. Cool. Okay, copper wire, please. Thank you. Oof. So now we have Durasteel armor we can craft. However, I need 10, 14, 20 Durasteel to make it, which I do not have. But it's pretty cool nonetheless. All right, so now that that's done, we can put away our Durasteel, put away our, well, we can put away our tungsten as well our copper wires and we're pretty much good so that's cool we've upgraded out all our crafting stations as much as we can now let's go back up to the ship back down to the colony planet I'm gonna stay parked over the desert so I can continue to grab some sand for construction and it is dark out So my little farm isn't too far out. Here it is. So we have ourselves a little bit of a gate, a little bit of a gate, chickens, robot chickens, and then farmland. And I also have grass growing, which is pretty nice. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plant some rows of corn. And then over here, I have a nice brick building. Uh, with a fairly tight staircase, I guess. It opens up to a roof area that everybody can use. So this is going to be communal living space. I'm going to have uh, one, two, three, four rooms, and then a general living area down here. Uh, that's the plan anyway. And uh, this is where I'm gonna put people. So yeah, this is where my colony will begin. Uh, right now I just have basic brick structure for this upward, this vertical hallway, so. Hmm. For some reason it works one way, but not the other way is weird uh, and my glowing just wore off but yeah this is the plan I also have the little stairs here that dig down one block so that you can just walk up to the thing without me having to build it into the ground or uh, so it's still raised up but there's no jumping to get in which is nice all right uh, so yeah so I have chickens they lay eggs I have robot chickens they lay double-a batteries 
and uh, that's pretty cool. Now I have crops as well. And I can actually make a sprinkler now that I think about it, which is totally cool. How do I make a sprinkler? Because <laughs> I will absolutely take that. I don't know why I'm still collecting silk, but I am. So, sprinkler. Uh, automated soil, soil watering solution. Five durasteel, five gold. Yeah, it's not too bad. It does use up some of my durasteel, but I'm at least going to make one. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. And it's still nighttime. Cool. So it looks like I just put it on the ground. I wonder how large of an area it covers. Okay. Not a super large area, but decent enough where it's getting, I'm pretty sure it's getting both the corn there. kind of cool. Alrighty. Oh, the sun's coming up. Lovely. I don't know if I've ever, if I've had this planet on camera in the sun. The sun has a really interesting effect on this world. So the light looks normal at first, but now it's got this kind of weird tinge to it. It just slowly gets more and more tingy. <laughs> You'll see what I mean as it gets all the way up past the horizon. Everything's just got this weird little tinge to it. Kind of green. Kind of kind of greenish blue. And yeah. But nevertheless, it's not bad. Uh, all right, so now we're going to go home. Uh, do, 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 do. And we are going to look at our construction options for some background walls for the people's rooms. We can also do furniture. Definitely want to do Durasteel furniture so we can get some high quality guards. That's guaranteed. Uh, however, people's rooms. Uh, let's see, what are good things? So the majority of the structure is built out of bricks, which is made from fire clay, which is just putting clay in the furnace and that's what you get. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, windows, definitely a good idea. But let's see here. What makes a good background of material? Treasure hoard. Oh boy. Uh, wooden bridge block. I mean, wood paneling probably is just the simplest solution here. Uh, let's go ahead and just craft a whole bunch of timber here. Let's do this 20 times. And then 
wood paneling. Just do this. Uh, can I do it 100? No, I can't. So let's actually go ahead and do... There we go. And then let's do 100 wood paneling. Any other, like... There's wall panel, like literal wall panel, but that is tungsten, and I really don't feel like gathering enough tungsten to do that. You could also do titanium paneling, or just tungsten blocks, or smooth metal out of tungsten. But I mean, eh, silver blocks, silver, eh. Like a lot of the options are meh-ish. I can get, I know I can get better recipes and stuff by breaking stuff down and learning it, but for now, I'm just gonna focus on what I got. And what I got is wood paneling, and that's pretty cool. So I would like to do this operation 100 times. And then I would like to go ahead and get um, here. Just as much glass as I can make. Definitely a slower process. And then I can go up here and make glass blocks, as many as I can. Oh, actually framed windows would be pretty nice, wouldn't they? I could do copper windows. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. I'm going to get, what, 10, 20 copper bars, and let's try it. 10. <laughs> Oh boy. So. Two hundred copper windows. Alright, still daylight out, although the sun is about to set, actually, so, yay. I am also hungry, so I should probably make some food next time I'm at, ho at home. Oh, those, are look good. those look real nice. Okay. I'm happy about that. Sprinkler is doing its job. Chickens are being chickens. It's pretty cool. Let's see, do I want to offset the windows from the center of the room? I think so. But actually, probably towards this side. Oh, that's cool. I'm content with this. I'm so happy with this. Are you kidding me? 
Although the window does seem a little high. How does that look? Uh, I'm gonna go with it for now. I might tweak it later. I think once I start decorating the room with other things, it'll become a little less upsetting. <laughs> God, that is so not a good way to put it. You never want to think that about something. I also need torches, man. I'll get better lights later, but for now, torchlight will do. I think that's about the same dimensions. Yeah, looks about right. Lovely. I mean, they all look uniform, but I mean, it's kind of what apartments are like, right? It's what you do with the space after you get it that makes it have its own flair. Oh. Uh, let's see. I don't know that I have enough wood paneling to... Uh... Oh, that is so off. Lovely. And let's see if I do have enough to pull this off. Oh, no, I do not. Yeah, no, I don't. That's okay. I'm only shy by just a little bit. Which is fine. However, that is all the time we have for, for today. So that's going to have to do it for this one. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff as always. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Any and all feedback is always very much appreciated. It helps me out a ton. And I do always love hearing from you guys. And next time, uh, we are probably going to start looking into furnishing. And going through what it takes to get specific types of people into your home and uh yeah so that is probably that what was i here to do a oh, wood paneling that's right so yeah i'll see you guys then and uh oh boy i think 50 should do it <laughs> There we go. All right, I will see you guys then. Bye for now.